The battle in central Yemen remains as volatile as ever, with the Saudi-led coalition and Ansar Allah clashing for Marib city, but also for Beda. In Beda, the Houthis, as the Ansar Allah movement is known, are on the defensive as the Saudi-led coalition began an offensive to recapture the area earlier in July. Fighting raged between Yemen's government forces and Houthi rebels, killing 320 fighters from both sides in the central province on July 12th and 13th. Fighting in Beda came as the Houthis attempted to break through government defenses in the strategic city of Marib, also located in central Yemen. The rebels have been trying to capture it from the Saudi-led coalition since February. The government has been sending reinforcements to Beda since losing some of the districts to the Houthis. The Houthis, alongside defending against the Saudi-led coalition, are also reportedly fighting ISIS and Al-Qaeda elements from Beda, announcing recently the clearing of terrorists in El Suma and El Zahir. Houthi spokesman Yahya Sari claimed that the group would stop the Saudi-led coalition's advance in Beda and push them back in three days from July 13th. This comes as Ansar Allah have stopped their almost daily drone and rocket attacks on various positions in Saudi Arabia. Still, on July 14th, a series of explosions rocked the outskirts of the central Saudi city of Al Qaraj to the south of the kingdom's capital, Riyadh. Local activists shared videos on social media showing large explosions near Al Qaraj, where ammunition depots and military bases are known to be located. A spokesman for the Saudi Ministry of Defense, Brigadier General Turki Al Malki, claimed in a brief statement that an accident was behind the explosions. Despite the statement, some sources suppose that the Al Qaraj explosions were the result of an attack by the Houthis. The group has yet to make any claims in regard to the explosions. Saudi Arabia continues its daily airstrikes in addition to hundreds of ceasefire violations in El Hudaydah, despite claiming that it has stopped. It only hasn't targeted the capital Sana'a for a while.